Hey guys, welcome back to more AFK Arena. In today's video, we've got a really enjoyable combo to show you guys. I love Gwyneth, she's got so many good combos. In my last summon session, I managed to summon the, uh, the new character, Lawson. And man, is this combo crazy when you team it up some, with something else. So let's get into this video. Okay, so the first thing we're going to look at is Gwyneth. Obviously, we're not going to go too in-depth. We, all we're looking at is proccing the flame arrows and the lightning arrows. We want to get double procs so that we're flaming multiple enemies. That's basically what Gwyneth does, and she does it really well. I have so much fun with Gwyneth. Then, we're looking at Lawson, and the thing we're looking at is his link ability, where he links the closest and farthest enemy, and any damage that either one of them takes, the other one's going to take 80% of that damage as well. Which is huge, like I cannot wait to get this thing skilled up. Uh, when you kill one, the other one gets stunned and then also it takes up to 120% damage. That's huge when you get that. That is absolutely huge, I cannot wait. But this combo is absolutely amazing and there's an addition to it that we'll get into in a minute. But basically that's what we're looking at. We're looking at using Lawson to link two enemies so that um, Gwyneth can actually hit both of them. And let's jump in here. Okay, you may see a little secret there, which is the Hendrick. We'll get into him in a minute. Um, but for now, what I want to show you guys is the strategy that we can use here. So with this strategy, if you look at the lay layout of this team as it is at the moment, the, the Lawson up here, his closest enemy is going to be the Golas. His furthest enemy is going to be the Savvies. He's going to link those two. Any damage that the Savvies takes, the Golas will take. I've got my Gwyneth in the middle. We're banking on RNG in this. What we really want to do is get a few Lightning and Flame Arrow procs in a row so that we can basically burn the Savvies with the Chain Lightning, get him taking damage, and then that way we're going to be hitting the three back row enemies, but then we're also going to be hitting that Golas for 80% of anything that the Savvies takes. Now keep in mind, the Golas isn't going to take quite as much damage because he is just naturally tankier. So you've you got to consider the increased H HP pool, so it's not going to be 80% of the the um, the bar that Savius takes, so he'll take a little bit less because he's a tank, but it's still going to be good damage. Um, another way you can actually use it is, for instance, if this old mate back here, uh, Ark... Arcadios. I've never read his name before, so I had no idea what that is. If him and Isabella were, say, a melee hero, um, and they run forward, what I could do is I could put my um, Gwyneth in the front row, and I've done this a few times, works really well. Depending on enemies, Golas is probably not the optimal one to do it against because he does have the, the stuns and stuff like that and his stomp. But what would happen is those two would run forward, and then my Gwyneth would shoot her arrow at the Golas. It would hit these two because they've ran forward. It would also hit this guy because he's in the range. And then because the Savius will be linked to the Golas, he'll be taking damage as well, meaning I'm actually hitting all five enemies. There's a lot of ways you can play around. Gwyneth has so many fun combos, so many. But we're gonna run this, we're gonna test it. We'll put it on one time speed and show you where we're at. We're pretty, we're pretty hard stuck at the moment, so we're probably gonna fail with this. I've been testing a few combos. I found one that I think is gonna work with RNG. Um, but as you can see, that Golas taking damage. What we really needed was more lightning arrows there to kill the Savius. But you can see how that Golas has taken half health um, from what the what we've been doing to that savvy. So you go. Once again, use the ultimate. You could see that. What I really want to show you is the the next team that I absolutely love. So what I'm doing here is I'm going to move that, move that. This was the setup I had. So the problem with Hendrik is that Golas interrupts his knockback. This little dog thing, uh, this little blood snarl, <laughs> original, uh, this little blood snarl doesn't interrupt him. So what's going to happen is I'm going to put Hendrik there. He's going to run in, knock the blood snarl back. Uh, then Hendrik's going to die in two seconds from a Savvy's attack, but it doesn't matter. So the idea being that the blood snarl, so I'll make Lawson over here. Let's, let's do it this way. He's going to link the blood snarl with this guy in the top back. And what happens is because we're knocking the blood blood snail into the arrow range, it means we're double dipping on the Gwyneth damage, meaning that Gwyneth is hitting him for full damage, which means that's going to give him 80% damage. She's also hitting him for full damage, meaning he's going to get 80% damage. So when she does her lightning arrows, uh, those guys are both going to get hit for 180% of the normal damage. Absolutely insane. With skill ups, that would be 220% of the damage. But Let's show you the thing. Let's. I think we got it on one side speed because watch. Hendrik, knock back. Okay, watch these two. Watch the top and the tank. Look at the melt. Watch one more arrow. And they're just dead. 
Like that is absolutely insane. Um, I absolutely love that combo. And we're, we're going to do a couple more times because they, they just absolutely melt. So using Hendrick as well. Oh, wow. Like I actually did this a few times off camera to try and clear it. And I couldn't clear it and we got it there. I, I'm tempted to restart, but I, like it took me too long. So <laughs> we were hard stuck. And this is, this is not even a boss stage. Um, but yeah, really, really nice combo that. Absolutely love it. Uh, okay, okay, this one's going to be harder because we've got a Vedan. Okay, Vedan and Golas, that sucks. That really does suck. Uh, we really want to link them. We want to do... Okay, oh, okay. Ho, ho, ho. This, this is perfect. This is exactly what I want. They, they may have too much damage and I may just melt. But I'm hoping I don't. I might put Ninja Turtle in there. Just because he's a bit tankier. Um, oh, I so hope. Okay. Okay. I, I, I'm just going through this in my head and I just realized I stopped talking. So I'm back guys. It's okay. I just went into my own head for a second, but like, I'm so excited because Vedan, um, this chick that I can never say her name and Nero, they are all melee heroes, meaning we're going to have a five hero, five melee hero lineup here. And basically my Gwyneth is going to hit all five of them because I've got her in the middle. And on top of that, we're going to be linking the goals with a Vedan. Hopefully, we can get some good damage in. Let's see what happens. I'm going to put on one time speed because I really want to watch it. Uh, okay, we got the link. Okay, Golas ran forward. Okay, maybe I have to take uh, Ninja Turtle out because he's actually... Um, his jump messes up the order. Okay, I just don't think I'm going to have the damage for this stage. Let, let's, uh, let's, let's try that again. Wait, let's exit. We're going to, we're going to remove his gear. Uh, if we can remove that, and we're going to put it on Lucius. Oh, Lucius already has the better gear. Rip. Okay, you can keep that. Okay, we're going to put Lucius in. I'm, I've been struggling with Lucius because he's only elite now. He's just that bit weaker than the others. Uh, but we're going to do that. And let's see. Let, let's watch that at one time speed again. So, arrows come out. Hits every... Oh, okay, it didn't hit Vedan. Oh, Vedan and Nero, they, they're out of range for some reason. Oh, that's absolutely devastating to me. Okay, that is that. That's really sad. And Nero was the one that got linked. Ah, I'm really disappointed. I thought it was going to hit everyone, but it doesn't. So what we're going to have to do is do this. I think we'll have to do this, and he's going to link the Nero. So this way we're going to be hitting. I'm hoping we'll hit the Vedan, the chick that I can't say her name, and the Blood Snarl, and then link that damage, and then Golus will be the only one we don't hit. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Sorry about the one time speed, but it's so much easier to see things on one times. Okay, so we are hitting the three with the arrows. That's okay. Uh, we need some roots. Okay, that's really good damage. That's really nice damage. Okay, that Nero's healing up way too much is my problem. But if we can get some... Nah, he's got his ultimate. Okay, that wasn't too bad. We're going to put it on two times speed and try that a couple times because that was some really nice damage. That was some really decent damage. Uh, everyone held on pretty clutch. It could come down to who Arden roots on whether this actually does work. Um, but we're looking pretty good. Okay, we, we, he got bats, which is just basically GG. So we do need the Arden to get roots on that for it to work. Um, I'm trying I'm trying to think of another combo that I could use to get them into range. I honestly thought all five were going to get hit by the arrow, but obviously the range on it is just a little bit too low. Um, we could always try it this way. Because Nero links to Vedan. Not, wait, no, this way it's going to be... Let's just see who he links. Because if Dan runs too far forward, he'll link Vedan. Okay, he does link Vedan. That's okay. I can dig that. We're just not getting the damage. Okay. We're, we're going to go back the other way and try that again. Because, man, like, if you have a Gwyneth and you pull Lawson, just try this. It's actually really fun. Uh, I feel like I need the Arden there for the roots. I, I, I just need CC on the team. Um, I do have... I do have old mate uh, Rowan over here who I was using, but I had to drop someone and I really wanted to keep the roots. So that's that's pretty much where it ended up. Um, let's go again. Come on, get some damage. Yes, we got we got we, we got the lightning arrows again. Oh, he just survived. Okay. Okay. I I, I I'm so I, I like I really want to get this. What I'm going to try and do to get a better faction bonus is go this guy again and just see what happens with this lineup. Um, hopefully it works. 
Okay, yeah, we did get the same same link. Okay, it doesn't work because it means the goalless runs and hits. He hits Arden. So let's try this way because I'm happy for someone to run and hit uh, hit Gwyneth because she's pretty tanky. She's pretty thick. He's going to go bats. Rip, we needed the roots. We needed the roots. Let's try that one more time. If not, we're going back to the Lucius and try and make things happen. Okay, we've got the knockup. There's so much CC in this team. It's actually really nice with those two tanks being so CC heavy. Uh, nah. So the original combo is the one that is going to work, which is going to be like this. We could even just play around and swap Lucius up and see if that makes any difference to it. Okay, <laughs> Lucius just dies. Oh, I'm sick of getting cocooned. Uh, that's the real annoying part of this. Okay, Lawson, we're doing good. Okay, we got, we got the interrupt. We need a root. Oh, okay, okay, this is good, this is good. We really needed the root on the Vedan on that one. Let's go again. I'll do, I'll do one more. If not, I'll go off camera and have a crack at it and come back to you guys. If I hopefully get it, and if I don't get it, I'm never coming. I mean, we'll just come back and I'll say I suck. But I'm going to go off camera now and we'll see how we go. So welcome back, guys, and I suck. So I said I'd call it, and I just I, I don't think I have the damage, the sustain. Like, my tanks aren't thick enough. My damage is just a little bit low to kill the last two enemies. So what I did was, though, I'll show you guys. I changed up the lineup. I put Lawson in the middle. What happens with this lineup is he's going to link uh, the chick here. I can't remember her name. But he's going to link her to the Vedan meaning those two will share the damage. And then my Gwyneth is going to be shooting the Vedan, but the arrow is going to go down and hit her as well, meaning that damage is going to be basically doubled for both of them. And we can, keeping in mind that Vedan is the boss on this stage, so we're just going to absolutely melt them. So if we look here, if we get crits, okay, that was a crit, that's good. That was not a lightning arrow, which sucks. This is the lightning arrow, and we get the kill. We clutch the kill there. Um, Unfortunately, Lucius is dead, and this is where I just I don't have the sustain to survive against these last two guys. If we can get roots on them again, nah. Nero just absolutely one shots. Uh, and Lawson's bomb thing, it seems to do nothing. I don't know if it didn't go off because he died there, but every time I've seen him use it, it just does nothing. But maybe it's because his gear is weak and he's only elite and all that jazz. Uh, I think we're screwed here. Unless Lucius gets a shield up. Maybe? something this this little thing is getting in our way a little bit uh if we can get another round of roots on them no nah. yeah they, these two niru is so frustrating to fight in campaign like i cannot express it enough okay good lightning yes lightning again yes perfect lightning please get the kill nice get the shield up lucius nice can we get a serious ultimate that would be really nice serious ultimate yes get the knockbacks Okay, we're getting some damage. I think we might have this one. But yeah, that bomb, I swear it does nothing. I think we... Yes! Yes! That's what I wanted to see. That worked finally. I actually did a lot of runs off camera and couldn't get it. But uh, but really, really nice, that one. Absolutely stoked with that. That works really well. Hopefully, we can get... No, so another thing I wanted to mention is against 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 a Sylvina who is normally really annoying because she goes to that back row the only real hard counter for a Sylvina that I found is like Anara being able to grapple her off what you can do against a Sylvina is with with the Lawson what you can actually do is uh, make him your weakest cloth wearer the Sylvina is going to go to him. She'll be the closest enemy to him. That'll link her to the furthest enemy, which means, so for instance, if he was here, say this chick was Sylvina, she goes and attacks Lawson. Uh, what he's going to do is link her to the Savius. What I can then do is put my Gwyneth down here shooting the Savius or in the middle shooting both. And uh, basically we're going to get that extra damage onto the Sylvina because normally Sylvina is really hard to just target down when she goes to that back row. So another really cool strategy, but that's pretty much going to be it. Let's wait. Let's have a look at this team. Can we get some fun shenanigans? No, the team doesn't doesn't really lend itself to it. So we're not going to get anything fun out of it. Oh, actually, this one. Okay, we can show you this quickly. It may not work too well, but we'll see how we go. So this is the lineup that I'm talking about when I put her in the front row. Uh, what I'll do is, I actually like Sirius in the back row when I do do these lineups because um, it basically guarantees that he's going to get his knock up uh, with the waves, which is really nice. So what's going to happen here is we're going to be shooting uh, this dude and her, and we're going to be hitting the goalless as well. And she or him, whichever one it ends up being, is going to be linked to the savvy, so we're going to hit him as well. 
really nice combo and because she's she's a plate wearer and she's pretty thick she loses her passive crit bonus and stuff um, but she's pretty thick she can take the damage and it works pretty well so as you can see we're gonna get that knock up there which is really nice that savvy's is taking a lot of damage um, we just need some more lightning arrows which we didn't quite get but you can see that general strategy where the um, the savvy's does drop look at that savvy's two shot my okay savvy's is the issue there what I might actually have to do here because uh, now I've got to clear this stage, but that's how that strategy works. But against the Savvius, it's just, it's 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 brutal. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do that. Uh, I'm going to put you there. Actually, no, I might even remove you. I'm going to put you there, and I'm going to put you there. Let's see if this works. Oh, no, it's Golas. We can't do it against a Golas. Rip. <laughs> okay, let's, let's, we, we, I'm not, I'm not going to hold you guys long. Let's do this one. Uh, that should work. Let's try. No, nah, I, I don't get the stuns off quick enough on the Savvius, and we just die. Okay, that's that one. I'll have some playing around, try and get through that. Savvius is a pain to my team right now. But as you can see, some really, really nice combos there with the Gwyneth and the uh, and the Lawson. I always forget this guy's name, Lawson. And uh, and the Hendrick thrown in there as well. You can get some nice combos. I really do like it. Um, the Sirius does synergize well at some points, really well in Labyrinth, because you can knock them all back, and then you know, you're hitting them all because you can build it up at the start um but yeah throughout games i feel like we need to get him a bit tankier so that he survives longer and gets more ultimates off but uh my team is just a little bit weak at the moment we're getting pretty close to mythic on the gwyneth as well which is going to be really nice stay tuned for that video but uh oh yeah for those that are still around because no one is probably around anymore i've had suggestions i've had suggestions that uh to keep track of what account i'm playing when i do the videos so the it'll be the right of when you're looking at the screen on the right, <laughs> the opposite side to where I'm sitting, I'm going to change that picture around depending on what account I'm doing it. So uh, I've got my, now I've got one of each account. I've got a Wilders, Graveborn, Lightbearers, and Mauler's account. So whichever one I'm playing, I'll put the relevant image up there so you guys can hopefully keep track of what account I'm playing. But that is going to be for this video, guys. Thanks for watching, and I look forward to seeing the next one. Cheers.